So Alex, on the eve of a new Formula One season, and you're going to be a race driver again. Yeah. How are you feeling? It feels really good. It feels, um, you know, spent a, a while away from the from the race seat, and uh, to get back into it, get back um, into the thing that I've wanted to do my whole life, uh, feels amazing. What's it like being part of a team like Williams as well? I know you spent a lot of time already at the factory. Yeah, no, it's been very good. The team's been super nice. They they clearly. Um, know what they're doing and on my side it was um, going to a team where yeah you can tell that there's there's trust there straight away they believe in me uh, pretty much from the first of January we were we were talking and um, spending a lot of days on the simulator and have you found that you've just slipped back into it because obviously I know you've been part of the team with Red Bull last year but yes race driver role is completely different it's different and um, I wouldn't most probably be able to tell you until today uh, how it goes, but uh, there is that feeling like there's going to be a bit of rust to 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 get it rid of. Um, I think um, on that reset of new car, new regulations, that goes in my favour. You know, it's kind of it's a reset for everyone. So my plan is to hit the ground running as hard as I can. Of course, there'll still be that little bit to go, but the team kind of really helped me with that, and we're kind of you know working together trying to. Um, make sure we we can attack straight away and I know I'll just get better through the season as as is the car and that's kind of you know we're going together on that. So talking about the car you get to see it today or at least the world gets to yes. see it today launch day uh, what do you make of it? It looks very good it really shows Williams it has a new beginning and um, with that becomes a new livery um, I think it looks classy. Is it quite a special feeling when you get to see a new car and especially now it's more special, I guess, because you're coming back. Yes, it's, um, I've been obviously with a Red Bull liveried car for a while now, so it is very much a new venture in in my Formula One career. Um, I think what adds to that is just, it's so different. The cars themselves look so different as well. You've spent some time in the sim. Mm. What's it been like? What's it felt like, this new car? In the end, most cars, they feel, once you get the setup feeling nice, it's all just about relative speed through a corner. So for us, it's been um, pretty much um, driving the first iteration of the car and then just building up and, and tweaking it out. And obviously, by this point, we spent two months kind of hammering, tweaking each corner a little bit every, at every circuit that we go to. Mm. It all feels pretty good. Obviously, the cars are lower. You can feel that. You can even feel that on the simulator that the cars are lower. Um, I think they will get that kind of much more, you're going to be wrestling it, it's going to be fighting underneath you uh, more than it has been in previous years, um, which in itself I think lends itself more towards the driver doing um, a good job and making sure the driver is able to extract the lap time out of it. Have you spoken much to George since you joined Williams? Has he given you even more advice and hopefully you no know, topless selfies? <laughs> Yeah, if you were sending me topless selfies, we, we, <laughs> I'm like, George, you're sending it to the wrong person here. <laughs> this is not for me, it's for your girlfriend. Um, but no, we have been talking. It's been nice to hear George's opinion on... on I know, speaking, you know, his side of the garage is actually the, the people that I'm working with this year. So the team have explained to me, listen, we did this and this with George. This is what he liked. And for me, it was also to understand um, what, why, why would he do them kind of changes to the car? What was his his process behind things because it's important to understand he's been kind of guiding me on that side you know okay this is why we did this is why I felt this was good to do and this is why this felt good to do which has been very valuable for me. What's it been like um, hanging out with Nicky again you've obviously <coughs> teammates before in F2? Yes Nicky's a super nice guy he's uh, very down to earth and uh, we got on well in Formula 2 in 2018 we were teammates and now he's the one with more experience within the team he's been with the team for a while now so you know just watching how he does his business i think it's it's good to see um teams operate differently and, and picking up on how he talks to the team the people he speaks to even you know last year when i was at red bull it was good to see how max and checo were communicating with the team it gives you an understanding of you know how do they extract performance uh for them now I know there's no number one or number two driver here and you've talked about Nicky having that experience here but you've obviously come with experience as well of so course. do you think you'll be having some sort of leader type role as well? Yes I believe so and of course on my side as well last year was a year out for me but it was a year of reflection and, and a year to 
think about what could I have done differently. So a lot of what I'm doing into this year is addressing them, them things that I want to change, but also inherently, I, of course, I bring experience from driving a different car. So we've been talking a lot about the development of the car and you know, we'll see today. It will be a first look at what areas do we need to explore and how quickly can we you know, address the, the things we need to. So just finally, I know we don't know what these cars are going to deliver. We don't know where the pe what the pecking order is going to be like. Yes. So, but what are your expectations? What would mark a success, I guess, for mm. you this year? Well, I think to begin with, it's really about where, where we start is is just our starting point. I feel like if we're you know if we're in the midfield, if we're in the upper midfield, that's great. If we're you know towards the 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 back half, that's fine. It's all about how quickly can we adapt and overcome and how how quickly can we progress through the year because some teams are going to get it right, some teams are going get, to get it wrong um, and for us it will just be about being efficient with our time over these six days of testing that we do have and pinpointing the, the key issues and um, yeah, just trying to bring the team um, as far forward as possible. No, everyone, no one's going to get it perfect straight away and it will just be about doing the best job you can after that to, to, to try and learn and try to adapt and, and come out on top.